Ooh, I hope you guys are ready to check out some more happy places today. Because we are going to be checking out the entire season two of Happy Places. Compared to the first one, it was so hard to find a lot of these little sets. A lot of the ones from wave two of this season were just really difficult, so it felt like it took me forever to collect them all. But now that I finally collected every single one, I was so excited to set all of this up. So that way I could share all of these awesome little petkins and shoppies with you guys and explore the cuteness in season two. Unlike with season one, there were a ton more rooms with the second season. There's the puppy patio, the slumber bear party room, the kitty dinner party room, the bunny laundry, the mousy hangout, and then you got like the classic rooms that were from the original happy home, like the puppy parlor, and there's some from the kitty kitchen, the dreamy bear bedroom, and the bathing bunny bathroom. There are definitely a lot more petkins in this season than in the first one. I think that's just because there are so many more rooms, and there's even more shoppies with the second season too, so there is just a ton to collect with this season. Ooh, let's start with the puppy patio. I think the puppy patio is probably my favorite room from this season. There are just so many cute ones. Like, look at the little pooper scooper in the poop. That is just too cute. And look how cute the little picnic petkins are. I love the little picnic baskets and the sandwiches. I just love the little outdoorsy theme that a lot of these petkins have. Like this one right here is a lantern with a little flame and a stand. There's some adorable birdhouses. And look at the little mushrooms in the pot. I really like the blue one too because I like the pink mushrooms. Pool petkins! And I love the little dog food petkins too. I think it's so cute having the pet food bags and the little scooper and a little dog dish. Perfect so that the shoppies can feed their puppies. And there's little wagons with watering cans. I just love how cute the puppy patio is. And of course, no puppy patio is complete without some flowers and some lawn decorations. So there are all sorts of flowers and a bench and a table. Lots of stuff to make the backyard bright and colorful. And the puppy patio had four shoppies with it this season. There was Peppermint, who was an exclusive that came with this patio, and the pool. And then Freya Froyo, who was very hard to find too. It took me forever to track her down. And there's Miss Rosie Bloom, that came with the puppy patio welcome pack. And Miss Daisy Petals was a wave one shoppie, so she was fairly easy to find. She was one of the very first little shoppies that came out for season two. So much cuteness! And there are several different rooms with different petkins in this row here. This little yellow section is from the kitty dinner party. And there weren't a whole, whole bunch of these, so that's why this section is so small. But these are really cute. I think the chocolate fountains are my favorite petkins from that room. I mean, look how cute they are! That chocolate looks so real and yummy. And the front ones right here were not actually from like a blind bag or anything. They just came with a decorator pack. And I think some of these actually came with the party studio that is the building that contains the kitty dinner party and the slumber bear party rooms. I kind of ran out of room because I didn't want to put too many petkins in the rooms over there. I wanted to make sure you could kind of get a glimpse at all of them. And look at the little drinking cups in the trays. Oh, the kitty dinner party has some really cute ones. Like this little silverware container, if you open it up, you can see little silverware inside with cute little kitty faces. And then back here are the shoppies that came with the kitty dinner party. Tiara Sparkles and Christina Apples are both just individual little shoppies that you could buy. And their petkins are sitting right next to them on the table. I love Christina Apples petkins because they're yummy apple pie. And there's also some other little random kitty dinner party petkins in there. Like Tiara Sparkles candlestick. Oh, a tiny little kitty cake. And there's a little tray back there. Mmm, all sorts of stuff needed to throw an awesome dinner party. And here are the petkins that belong in the Dreamy Bear bedroom on this pretty pink tile. There also weren't a lot of the Dreamy Bear bedroom petkins, but I think that's just because they introduced the Slumber Bear party room, so they wanted to make some more bear petkins for that one, which is awesome because I love the new rooms and all sorts of new petkins, but I still love the ones they made for these. I love the little jewelry stand. It's like a little jewelry tree, and there's a little necklace that goes on there that you can hang on the tree. And there's little purses with wallets and credit cards. 
Oh, and the little hat boxes are too cute, and they come with little hats and little hat stands that can hold the hat. Yep. Oh no! Okay, maybe not. It toppled over. And there was only one shoppy this season that went with the dreamy bear bedroom, and it's Miss Cocolette. And her little petkins are so cute. It's a little chocolate box that you can actually open up, and it's got like a little space in here for you to put the little piece of chocolate. We just gotta drop it out in there. And look, the little chocolate piece fits perfectly in the box. And right behind the Dreamy Bear Petkins are the Slumber Bear Party Petkins. Most of these Petkins have bright pink and purple colors, and I totally love it. And some of the furniture was a little too big to fit on the tiles, so I just put it right behind there. The Little Bear Beanbag Chairs is one of my favorite Petkins from this room. It just looks so soft and squishy to sit in. Mmm, those little ice cream sundaes look delicious. The little makeup bags are adorable. They come with little lotion bottles and some tiny little bottles of nail polish too. Eee, look at that little cup of yummy hot chocolate. It's even got a tiny little marshmallow on top. Ooh, and there's some TVs and some karaoke machines back there. There will definitely be plenty for the shoppies to do at this slumber party. Mmm, I also love this little pizza one here because look, there's actually a little pizza inside. Along with a yummy looking pizza slice. And all the way up here is the Slumber Bear Party room. And check out this cute little bunk bed. Perfect to share with a friend. And these are the two shoppies that come with it. We've got Rihanna Radio and her little journal with the cute little petkin pin. And right over here is Candy Sweets. She is one super sweet shoppie with some adorable sweet petkins. Look, she's got a little cotton candy maker and a cute little swirl of cotton candy. Mm, this is going to be one sweet slumber party. And the next row of Petkins is full of some bunny supplies and some fun mousy games. This front row here is for the bathing bunny bathroom. There were only six sets that came with the bunny bathroom for this season. But I really like them though. There's like a little medicine cabinet with some medicine and like a little cup to drink out of. There's also like a little bandage box and like a little first aid kit to keep it all in. And look at that, there's a little toothbrush and some toothpaste. And this toothbrush can actually come out of the stand. And right here in this little yellow tile area are all of the bunny laundry petkins. So there's two sets of bunny petkins. There's the bunny laundry and the bathing bunny petkins. And I love the bunny laundry petkins because it's like just a bunch of different cleaning supplies. Like there's detergent for the laundry. There's little vacuum cleaners and little dust pans. I love this. It's another little laundry detergent, but this one is like one you can scoop out. Oh, with a cute little scooper. And there's some buckets with some cleaning gloves. Definitely need paper towels to wipe up any messes. There are just a ton. I mean, look at all the tiles I had to use just for the bunny laundry petkins. And of course, Millie Mops is the shoppie that came with the bunny laundry. She was part of the welcome pack that also came with a lot of these really big petkins. Like the washer and dryer back there and the little sink. This little clothing rack, the vacuum. There were a lot of big ones here too. I feel like there are so many bunny laundry petkins. And I love Millie Mops too. I love how her hair actually looks like a little mop. But definitely way more stylish than an actual mop. And then lastly back here we have the Mousy Hangout petkins. Mousy Hangout is basically just one awesome giant game room. So there's lots of fun like activities to do like golfing. There's a bunch of games. There's chess and I see like a little game remote, dominoes and bowling. Ooh, some blocks and connect four. More like connect the petkin. There's some pool balls so you can play pool. There is just so much for the shoppies to do here. They can paint. Definitely so many options. And up here are the shoppies that went with the mousy hangout. We've got Pia Puzzle and her adorable little puzzle petkins. Look at this giant awesome pool table. It's got the little sticks to go up there. And here's Queenie Hearts who came with the Mousy Hangout Welcome Pack. She is awesome. I love how she has like a little card game outfit going on here. She is just a really cute shoppie. And this building is cool because it has the bunny laundry room, the Mousy Hangout, and all the way at the top here it has like a little roof that's like an extra gaming area. And since there are so many Mousy Petkins, I put the ping pong table up here a little gaming shelf, and there's even like this huge TV for them to watch movies or play games on. 
I just think it's really cool. It adds some extra space having that third floor up there. And here is our very last row of petkins. These are the puppy parlor petkins, which is just one of the original rooms from the first happy home. But these ones are so cute. There's a lot of like little snacks for the shoppies to enjoy while they're watching TV or just hanging out. Like the little carrot sticks and the dip and the bowls. And this purple dip looks so yummy. I bet it's like some kind of ranch. It doesn't actually say on the checklist. It just says it's a bowl of dip. Oh, and look at the yummy donuts. Oh my goodness, they look so good. Oh, and it looks like there's even some stuff to do in the puppy parlor. Like play on the computer or maybe even read a book that the shoppies can put in between these book stands to make sure they don't fall off the bookshelf or anything. And here are the puppy parlor shoppies. I'm not actually really sure if Lucy Smoothie is a puppy parlor shoppie. She actually was an exclusive that came with this Sparkle Hill Happy Home, which was like an updated version of the original one. And she came with a bunch of like exclusive kitchen petkins, so maybe that makes her more of a kitchen shoppie. But really, these shoppies can hang out wherever they want. And Chelsea Cheeseburger belongs in the puppy parlor, along with her adorable little burger petkin. Hmm, there's even a box to put it in. I absolutely love her outfit. She totally looks like a little diner shoppie. She's got a little burger headband. She is just too cute. And here's our very, very last little section of petkins. It's the Kitty Kitchen Petkins. There is so much yumminess in this set. There's some yummy eggs to fry up. Look at the little dough that you can roll out on the cutting board. Mm, some rice and there's like some little spice jars. I love the little fruits and those pumpkins are just so cute. I think I like the pink one back here the best because it's just such a cute color. And I really like the sandwich maker sets too because the little sandwiches are just adorable and they look so yummy. Kitty waffles! Yum yum yum! And here are the kitty kitchen shoppies. All of those pink petkins back there are the exclusives that came with the sparkly happy home. And then Tippy Teapot here has her little teapot and tea strainer petkins with her. I really like her because she is actually Kirsty's sister, who was a tea themed shoppy from season one. So it's cool that they have like a little sister for her in the second season. And Macy Macaroon is another favorite. I absolutely love her hair. It's this beautiful sky blue. And she's a macaroon themed shoppy, so that is just awesome. She comes with a little tiny macaroon and a macaroon box, and her outfit is just so sweet looking. Really, it's so hard to pick favorites, though, with any of these shoppies or petkins, because there are just so many that are cute and so colorful. I love how colorful the happy places always are. But really, if I had to pick one absolute favorite shoppie, it would be Tiara Sparkles. I have a lot of, like, favorite shoppies, but she is my number one from season two. I just really love her princess theme. I'm a huge Disney princess fan, so I love how she has, like, a little princess outfit. But I would love to know which shoppy you guys like the best from this season, or which room, or which pet can sit. I would just love to know what you guys think about this awesome second season. As you can see, it's totally taken up my entire table here. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the entire second season with me. I loved filming the first one, and a lot of you guys asked if I would make a complete season 2 video, so as soon as I finished completing the collection, I wanted to film and share this with you guys. And I'm already working on season 3. I have a lot of the sets and shoppies, so as soon as I'm done with season 3, I will definitely be making a season 3 video too. And don't forget to hop on over to my channel and subscribe for lots and lots more Happy Places fun! And big, big bear hugs and honey pots. Thank you guys so much again for joining me today. And I will see you guys in another happy video. Bye! Woo, pet